Hello, this is Connor again. Um, today's tutorial will be a follow-up on my last video, which was a simple uh, clarification of what Ajax is and what it does. A ugh, asynchronous JavaScript and XML. Today, um, we're also going to be using a library to do our, some help us with some of our code. It's called Simple Ajax on phpclassesorg slash browse slash package slash 2718.html. Uh, it's a lightweight but yet fairly powerful and easy to use uh, library, which is, you know, it just makes Ajax development a little bit easier. And it's developed by Rosak Chauhan. And if you're if he's watching right now, sorry if I mispronounced your name. Uh, yeah, it's a good library. He wrote it, so check it out. And you can download the full package if you like. But today, as long as you have ajax.inc.php and ajax.js, you'll be good to go. Let's open up our Eclipse IDE. I already have the stuff downloaded. First, let's explore the ajax.inc.php main class file first uh, and see what's within it. You can see on Eclipse, a reason why I like Eclipse IDE especially is because it outlines kind of all your stuff on your on the file. So you can see the class library Ajax only has three functions which explains why it's so lightweight. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty simple, nothing else more to look there. Now on example.php, this is going to be our main front end HTML file. Uh, well with PHP, with obviously, but yeah, it's our front end file, server file.php is our back end where the Ajax will be calling on it and come back with a result from server file.php. Okay, now on the main page example.php, first off you need to include the ajax.inc.php file onto the page and the good thing about this library as well is when you have this when you call on this the ajax class it automatically kind of includes your uh, the javascript file as well so you don't have to worry about any javascript so I declared the ajax library as variable ajax equals new ajax and the developer of this library made it so that when you're calling on this you need to set uh, the ID of the display area mine's display area and if you haven't already go ahead and make a div and make its ID equal to what you put up here because that's where the outputs gonna be displayed and before we go any farther I'm just gonna say no results meaning just as as long as there's nothing's happened with Ajax then it's just gonna say no results Okay, you can do all your HTML tags, my t title is Simple Ajax Tutorial, and head body, and then we're going to create a form since Ajax, you don't want the page to refresh or anything like that. Um, you don't set a method or an action for the form, you just have the plain form tags. Now we're going to take a button. What our application is going to do today is where you just click the button and some text is displayed here. Uh, without refreshing the page, of course, that's what Ajax is. And to make your button, just do your input type equals button, name equals, I called it Ajax button, you can call it whatever you want, value equals click me. And on click, this is what I wanted to, sh uh, something I want to show you. It's going to be show, actually, this library, um, the, the JavaScript function to call, um, to call on, you know, the Ajax's send R E Q, like send request, and there's three parameters. The first parameter for this uh, function is uh, the page you'll be calling on, which for us it's server file .php. So far, so good. Okay. Now the the next two the um. This one right here that's next is going to be our the name of our parameter, and then after that's going to be the values. Uh, if you had multiple 
uh, parameters than you would create an array uh, to do this stuff. But since we're we really don't need much in the way of parameters, but I'll pass one anyway. I'm just gonna call it click, and it's gonna be equal to true. So there we go. That's good. That function. So click is just gonna be equal to true. That's all. And now that page is good for now. We are going to go to serverfile.php and just create your PHP tags. What we are going to do to make our application a little bit more secure and just make sure it works properly, we're just going to say if variable get click equals true. So it's just get it's just seeing if the parameter click is equal to true. Then if that is correct, then we'll say let's make a font and this color will be green um clicked the button end font good we are good okay we're gonna save these And also with this library, um, you can call on things uh, through a PHP function, but for now we're just using his his JavaScript function. But really, it's it's no different. I mean, exact parameters and everything. So you can use, but it's a little bit easier uh, to use the JavaScript function when you're using like on click events and stuff like that. Uh, now, just give me a second. I need to upload this. Okay, now once you have it uploaded, go to your Safari or whatever Internet Explorer you're using. New tab, and let me go to the URL where it is. Give me a second. Slash, there we go. Okay, now you can see that we have our click me button. Um, and then here's our div where it says no results since we haven't done any Ajax yet. It's the function's not called until we click this button. So now let's click it, which calls on Ajax, and it displays you clicked the button without um, just reloading the page. So that's basically our tutorial for today. Next tutorial, I'll be going a little bit more in depth on um, this library with using. Um, the PHP built the PHP functions within his library and working with arrays and multiple parameters uh, it's really no different but you you get the idea of what it's what a simple Ajax um, application is like so thanks for watching and bye bye